his book is. Honey? Honey? Lion! In Africa, the honey guide and the honey badger are partners when it comes to honey. The little bird follows a bee to its hive, and then she leads the honey bee badger there to break it open with his big, strong claws, and together they share the sweetness. And that's the way it has always been. Maybe this day badger was hungrier than usual and he forgot about the honey guide who showed him the way. Or he could have been thinking, my strong claws do all the hard work. Whatever the reason, that day, Badger would not share. Honey guide scolded Badger as he waddled back to the jackberry tree, his tummy almost touching the ground. She fussed and fumed as he tried to fit into his burrow. Finally, she cried out for all of the animals to hear, No fair! No fair! Soon all the guinea hens were broadcasting the news. Honey guides in a major rage! But Badger didn't hear. He was sound asleep, smiling and snoring and <laughs> hiccuping from his very big meal. <laughs> Badger roared out of the loudest hiccup of all. His deep, low rumble gave Honey Guide an idea. The next morning, Badger woke up hungry, his tummy flat as a pancake, and that's when Honey Guide flew by, heading for a great gray baboa tree. Honey, 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 she cried, grinning. The little bird zigzagged over its large roots. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Badger ran right after her. Pitter-patter. The honey guide flew low across the water hole. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Badger paddled after her. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Honey Guide glided to the top of a termite mound and bounced off one foot strong. Boing. Badger scrambled to the top and bounced off. Sprung. Honey Guide landed on a hollow log. It echoed as she stomped. Boom, boom. Badger hurried to catch up. Boom, boom. Next, Honey Guide flittered through the stand of the papyrus. Tall, dry weeds weaved back and forth. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Badger traipsed along, muttering, Where is that honey? The papyrus, the papyrus rattled as he went by. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Oh, by now Badger was tired. He was wet, itchy, and sore, but he did not slow down because Honey Guys was just ahead of them. She flashed her wings, fanned her tail, and dove under the Acadia tree. Badger charged after her, singing triumphantly, Honey! Honey! Lion! Ah! Lion! 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 Badger turned on his tail and ran! Swoosh, swoosh through the grass, clickety clack, clickety clack, into the papyrus, boom, 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 over the hollow log. Sprung over the termite mound, and splish, splash across the water hole, pitter, patter, over the baboa tree. Badger dashed into his burrow, honey guide cheered, 
and in a flesh, Badger was far from the entrance as he could be, because right behind him was Lion's huge paws batting at the air. But he could not reach him. And that's the closest any animal could get to being an angry lion and live to tell the tale. And that evening, Mongoose squeaked to Elephant, who trumpeted to Hippo, who bellowed to the Warthog, who squealed to the Bishop Bird, who piped to the Hyena, who whooped to the Zebra, who snorted to the Giraffe, who over, was overheard by the guinea hen, who bugled it far and wide. It was the brush, or the, sorry, it was the bush telegraph, and it said, if honey guide leads you to a beehive, be sure and reward her, or next time she will lead you to a lion. The end.